Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Dungeons & Dragons Tactics, and holy crap, freaking river, your freaking HP, man. Gotta fix that shit. Anyways, Pit gets his uh, attack off first, so we're going to go ahead and cast a little awesome little number called a Magic Missile at a Shaman in the vain hopes that we will survive this day without anyone kicking the bucket. No, it wasn't against the trolls, it was against that one douche canoe, that freaking mad wizard. God, I hate that guy now. So I'm probably gonna wanna divide and conquer the characters some. I know that they can each handle the goblins all on their own, it's just that some of them can handle them all on their own in better states. Let's see. Cure light. That's a good use of cure lighting. Alright. Divide and conquer. Uh, initiates. We'll have River and Darius head in this direction, hoping to get all the treasure. Because glorious, glorious loot. And Darius will kill stuff along the way. Oh god, stop attacking at the bard. I mean, the bard I mind less about dying at the moment, seeing as he's actually got a level's worth. Alright, how, uh, just how injured are you? You are fairly injured. I didn't want to risk him not getting fu fully healed, pretty much. Alright, we'll have Talos work with Pit. Oh, they got a giant spider, too. That's... That's great. That's lovely. I love that. All the bugbear mess is gonna come my way too, huh? Alright, who to have Emrod help? Actually, Emrod might help out... Uh, Spunkus. Ah, three damage and didn't kill him. Okay. Okay, that goblin's changing his weapon, planning on moving in on Darius. That goblin's still being a pansy. Everyone's attacking our pit. So first and foremost, I probably want to kill that spider. Stop attacking that pit! Especially you. Oh my god! What has pit ever done to you guys? You know, besides cast magic missile in your face. Kill the goblin. Yes, that kills the shaman. One dead. And let's have you take a little bit more cover. So the bugbear, the spider, the other bugbear, and the goblin should all be coming at him. Let's get a little bit off of him at the moment. Ah, freaking spider webs. Okay, I'm not too worried about physical attacks against River. That worried about physical attacks against River. I am worried about that goblin though. Uh, should have had River keep chilling out with Talos. All right, maybe I can. I don't know, cast something useful. Okay, summon monster. That's out of range. We'll summon monster a little bit closer in range then. Because Summon Monster is one of those annoying spells that are only within close range, which is 25 feet. No. Which is 25 feet plus 5 feet for every level that they are. So, at the moment, he can be like 50 feet away. But, of course, you have to be able to see where you want to cast the spell. Honestly, a fireball right over in that pocket. Beautiful. Alright, get a little bit closer. Attack at that one. 
Hey, he actually hit him. Four damage. Impress. Are you just swapping out your weapons? You stupid goblin. Come on. So I want to get to River so I can guarantee that she can get some healing. I'm worried about a goblin suddenly popping up around the corner and being all like, Oh, BT dubs. Fireball. All right. Yes, there's that goblin. Alright. I want to ensure that guy's dead. Let's do a scorching ray on his ass. Ooh. Not enough. Well. You prove a nice distraction. That's pretty much what I've always used summon monsters for. It's just distractions. Alright, let's have him... Yeah, let's have him step this way, flanking the bugbear. This way he can also start heading in towards that freaking frick face of a fricker. I know words. Right there. Ah, oh, come on. Slain! Awesome. Alright. Now I'll use Darius as bait for that goblin that's got the things. I'll also have him finally cast his blessed spell. I think that should also reach Darius in river, but I don't know. It did not. Fiend spider. Oh, he's fiendish. Okay. I'm I'm not that worried about it being fiendish, but okay, he's fiendish. Awesome. So we'll have him attack. Yeah, that's a miss. Then he can go into be. Hmm. You bastards in your healing. He only healed for 10 though, and he's still within Pit's range, which is stupid on his part, really. Kind of expected them to continue going for a river. <sighs> so I guess Darius should have to deal with the spider. Oh no, I took 4 damage. Well, okay, he is at half health. But I'm still less worried about him than I am about... River kicking the bucket and losing more experience. Yes. Dead Gabo. Then I can just have him sit in the back and magic missile the other one that was all over the way over there. Nice. Alright, have you start moving in. Only thing I trust you doing right now is freaking stepping into that goblin and f just stab his goddamn throat. Man, I know that's the thing that River loved to do. You failed at it. Alright, move here, flinking with the wolf. No. Move here. Flank with the wolf. How did that miss? Well, I suppose he's not being blessed, so that makes sense. Oh. Are you crapping? You are crapping. Alright. Attack. Oh, hey, he did manage to kill one. Okay. In that case, shoot that one. Nice hit. Hellhound attack. Is a miss? I think that was a miss. No, oh, that was a hit. Okay. I'm wondering if... I'm suddenly wondering if... Um, flanking on this also adds to damage? Because I don't recall ever... Dogs doing as much damage as that one just did. 
Even if he is a hellhound. Alright. Two more level one spells remaining. Might as well kill off these last goblins over here. Move over yonder. Now if I just move right here, it'll be harder for the Bastage to do his thing. Why didn't I faint? Damn it. Uh, balls. Alright, come on. Kill the thing. Oh, damn. Oh, he critical. That's what it was. Awesome. Take two attacks. Everyone needs healing over here. Hmm. She's already got a shield. I should be casting Shield of Faith on Darius. That'd be smart. I'll have him in his turn for now. Go for that one. Not sure why that one exclusively. Really, he should be going off for the treasure. Like I'm fairly certain that actual Amrod would do. This hellhound I'm gonna have going for the other goblin. Where is he? Out that way. Watch watch him watch him. Watch him actually conjure up like five more goblins. That won't be annoying. Goblins are that kind of race of creatures that's just like really annoying to deal with, especially at early levels. <laughs> Pitch just arriving on the scene like, hey guys, what's going Oh, jeez. Uh, everyone alright? Well, I'm alright, I got a potion to cure light wounds. Spadonkus. Man, you're a hardly little bastard. And if I step here... And... Right, since I already moved, I can't put my turn back. Ooh. Don't know why I moved Darius there. Really need him to get some healing. Oh yes, because filthy loot. Oh! The little brother. School of Fireball and a potion of heroism. Pretty good stuff. That said, I'm still going to cure the ever-loving crap out of him first. Right onto his head. Alright, Amrod. Watch this be like an explosive chest or something. I'm just waiting. Because I know it's supposed to happen at some point or another. Traps are going to be part of chests now. That won't be irritating. Goblin's able to take more hits than just one, though. That's also irritating. Do, 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 do. Hmm. Pit, start going for that one. Just kill it. Thank you. And now let us be on our... Actually, no, he's got to... He's got to help the dude with the loot. Let's get River some of this loot, too. See, now she's seemingly able to carry it just fine. Alright, we only got the one goblin left. I do think that... Uh, that hellhound should be able to deal with him just fine. That said, that hellhound has yet to even hit him. Padded armor plus one, called the Scarecrow. And potion to bowl strength. Alright. Yeah. Now we'll move 
back. Oh, right. Maul him! See? what I tell you? Able to handle him just fine. Able to handle him just fine. Oh no, it's like a trio of wolves up there right now. That's alright, they can handle he can handle wolves. Spelunkus really needs some more healing though. Wait. Right, already looted. And then we're gonna have Pit just casually open the chest. What is in the chest? A gasarm. Two handed D6 times three damage. Can reach 10 feet and it requires martial weapon proficiency to even use. Well, ain't that fantastic. Nah, I'm gonna have someone else pick that up. Yeah, Talos, that'll, that's fine. Kasarm is two handed, sadly, so it means that he's not gonna be able to use it just fine. Hey, the wolves are coming. Probably for that hellhound. Oh no, the hellhound's gone now. Oh, I want what's in the treasure ch chest over there, though. Can I only access it? No, okay, it's all attached to that island. To that island. Though if I can, I'm just gonna have Pit roast anything that comes out of that little Stonehenge area. Because, I mean, who wouldn't? Do, 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 do. Spadonkis, get your butt moving. Same with you, little lady. Yeah, get some flanking up in here. Actually, everyone keeps moving in such a fashion that Pit can't cast his more powerful spells. And dead wolf? Yeah, dead wolf. These ones only seem to have ten HP. So guess we can have We'll have Darius and River worry about the loot at the moment. Unless that wolf manages to move within River's path, which, yeah, no, there he goes. There was one other creature there. Um, Slip. Sleep the wolf. Don't ask me how the wolf made his save. Also, don't ask me why the hell it was focusing on the wolf when I was trying to move Spadonkis. Because in full honesty, I don't know. So he's out of first level spells. Could cast his remaining fireball. Actually, no. We'll ha move him up here, and then we'll do a uh, clear and sweep maneuver, as it were. Maybe not. Because if all that's there to be swept is that wolf, then... You know, whatever. Dead wolf? Dead wolf. Awesome. So, open the chest. Move on over to it. Dagger, potion of neutralized poison, and a scroll of barrels endurance. Eh, haven't been getting the best of loot this time around, to be completely honest. It's all really good in the right situation. It's just I don't know, they're definitely not potions or whatnot that I I myself find actively going and getting from the local like whatever shop. Oh, he didn't die. Which is a no nuisance. 
an annoying nuisance. Dang it. You had a good chance to hit, too. Ain't crap of that. She's able to dodge like the best of them. Oh, there's another wolf. I probably should have done the sweeping clear. Well, not the sweeping clear. The, the equivalency of just blowing everything the crap up. Because that is effective. Alright. Just trying to think of what party to have go over to that chest. Uh, probably Amrod and River then. So is there just a never-ending supply of wolves in this little circle? <laughs> Spadonkis all the way in the back being like... <laughs> uh, uh, okay, I miss anything? Pitch just in the back there and like, oh, we killed like half a dozen wolves. Does that count? Damn it. Is there any left? Oh, yeah, there's that one over there that uh, we haven't bothered with yet, but uh, one, one second. What ram? Yeah. No, I think we're good. Aww. <laughs> uh, Alright, back to the exploration. So, what is in this chest? Splint mail. Plus one, potion of bark skin, potion of cure, moderate wounds. Mm, probably gonna actually have Spadunkus pick up this lot. For one, he could benefit from splint mail himself. Nope, not, not pick up your move in your butt. You move, yeah, pick up all. Splint mail, unfortunately, is very heavy. So he's probably way more weighed down than before. Alright, so... Masterwork Splint is what we currently have on him. Which only provides an armor bonus of 6. But... Splint Mail plus 1... Uh, Splint Mail plus 1 gives him a total of 7. Huzzah! And now if he was buffed... Oh. The druid is dead. A werewolf has severed his head and taken it with him. Look, he's getting away. The druid's body is incomplete. Without a head, we cannot resurrect him. Then the secrets have died with him. Well, that just seems like a giant waste of time now, doesn't it? Werewolf escapes. Eh. Look, can you see it? I see that, Crow. But it's saying something. Doom! Doom! Come quickly! What do you want, Crow? My mistress needs you, Darius. Mistress? And how do you know my name? My mistress is Lady Intellis of the Prophecy. She's in danger. You must save her. What peril is this? Why should I save her? The wolves have attacked from the great grass sea. If you wait her, she may give you answers to your questions. She is beyond Spider Spike Hollow, a dangerous place. You may pass safely if you know the password. Remember the word Elethril. 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 Sounds elven. I'm going to forget it immediately. We can't seem to do anything else in Lenewen. That's kind of disappointing. But... River, you got another level up. Please be good. Alright, so... Currently, she's rocking out with some good old-fashioned finesse fighting. She could probably take dodge, but... I'm good with just leveling up that site for now. Ah, part of me really wants to build her more true to her actual character as a two-weapon fighter, even if the two-weapon fightingness is going to be somewhat downplayed. Actually, wait. No, no, no. No, no, no. no. I want to save first. Because I honestly don't know how much longer I can go with her getting only like two or three HP per level. 
So, if I can, I will make it so as she will get as much as possible. So... We're gonna go... to weapon fighting. And maybe next level, I can get two weapon defense, which will increase her AC by one as long as she is using a uh, weapon in each hand. So she could equip a short sword in her offhand. Hey, she got 15. That means she's rolled at least a six and her negative constitution reduced that by two. That's not terrible. Also, her AC is now 22. I don't know if that's because the spells have yet to have worn off or... Okay, that, that was me accidentally doing the thing of the stupid, of the pressing X to continue sort, when it doesn't press X to continue in this game. <sighs> so let's hope that she gets the same amount of HP as she had started, as she had ended with when I had leveled her up. I don't want to miss any of the story. Confirm. 14. That means she rolled a 5. No. All this because I didn't want to skip a stinking cutscene. Ah, uh, dang it. 13. You know what? Screw it. I'm taking it. I've, I'm, I'm losing the patience. Like seriously, if I could get this woman's goddamn constitution up to a point where it's not negative two, that'd be lovely. <sighs> Anyways, Amrod, he also needs to level up. Oh god, I don't even know where to begin for Amrod. Could also have him take. Augment summoning, summoning, summoning. Spells duration, actually? Yeah, extend spell. He's gonna be casting a lot of buffing based things anyway, so. That makes a lot more sense for the bard. Alright. 18 HP. I mean, I kind of expect it from the bard. Little less from the rogue. <sighs> Alright, let's see what that cutscene was all about, eh? Come to me, chosen men. Who will take the lady's gold? We want men of arms and battle mages to join our company. The men of Vinsaxi will not stand another elf raid on the Eastings. The elves think themselves safe in their fortress. They claim land that is ours by right. It is time to deal with them once and for all. The Lady Alia is paying gold to all who join the warband. Together we will crush them and burn their forest to the ground. Come to me, chosen men. Who will take the lady's gold? Noble gnome, Captain Sindarol tells me you are bleh. On behalf of the elves, I beseech you to help us. The Vinsaxi are recruiting a warband to destroy us. The strength of the elves is weak as men have grown strong. My name is Athelia. Please help defend us. We will reward you well. Oh. We're gonna be tossed into one of these conundrums, is it? Where we're going to suddenly need to decide what side we... we fight alongside that's gonna be troublesome I can already tell you that but I'm gonna go ahead call an episode here when we return I guess we're trying to decide which side that we're trying to help the elves or men you can probably assume that I'm probably going to go with the men the man humans yeah so thank you all for watching I'll see you guys in the next video Take care. Cheers.